Movie number 29, Epson 2880, Continuous Ink System, Installation and Options. At present, only eight channel continuous ink systems are available for this printer. We're looking to source nine channel systems, but at the moment, only eight channels are available. Now this means that for the systems that we would fit in, now let's show you the the, uh, the continuous ink system cartridges. So you've got you've got uh, eight cartridges here. Now they're in banks of four, and the photo black cartridge is pretty well fixed at this position. Now the photo black must be chosen with this system, or you can fill that particular cartridge up with matte black. But we haven't got the option at the present time of changing between photo black and matte black at will. Now when we use the photo black ink in there, the driver settings when you go to print will be correct and we can apply the license generic and custom profiles fine. Now when we are applying the when we are uh, filling this up for customers that do fine art printing only and they've got the matte black in there the the printer driver settings remain as a photo black setting so the media selections will be appropriate to a photo black uh, ink set but that's not too much of a problem because we're happy to provide you free custom profiles so that your matte black uh, image performance it, it, it optimizes the image performance for uh, for your matte black uh, for your fine art and matte printing so that's a very important p uh, uh, point to make that this is an eight channel system and at the present time we don't have uh, a, a nine channel system now the now the 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 next point to make is that your your uh, your brand cartridges that were in this machine take your brand cartridges out and keep them secure keep them uh, keep them uh, to one side in a single in a single pack so that you may want to reinstall them at any time in in, in the future now uh, let's get on with what we actually have to do as far as preparing the preparing the printer now the first thing we have to do in our pack uh, in our kit we actually get a nice little screwdriver here that will enable us to remove the lid so we'll take this we'll take this screwdriver here we are and it's fairly straightforward always do this to the left hand side and what we do is we put the screwdriver between the inside there we very carefully just very carefully prise the lid very carefully prise the lid backwards like that you 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 can't do it to the right hand side because it's too long but the left hand side the little piece is just long enough there so you can prise the lid out and again hold on to this lid so that at any time in the future if you want to go back to the standard Epson inks you can do that so that's the first little bit of preparation now the next bit of preparation is that this printer is designed to have to work with the lid downwards so in this case the lid's down like this and it and it and it likes to operate with the lid down now in our case we want to run it with the lid slightly up so we have to have a, a, a way there's there's a little there's a little piece here there's, there's, a, there's a little piece there that we have to push upwards and now we can't hold it up with a screwdriver obviously so a very elegant method that uh, that uh, Lyson have come up with is a, a, a nice little piece of nice little piece of tubing here which is cut just at the right size you push the tubing in on one side you push it down on the other side and it just sits there nicely it sits all the way in there and, and, and that's perfect and that's that's nice and secure so we've done all our preparation here what we now need to do is to turn our attention to the kit itself let's move our visual let's move the camera across to the the kit 
Now, as usual, we've cheated a little bit, and we've actually shown you we've 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 already primed uh, uh, pretty well all of the reservoir and the uh, and the, the the cartridges already to avoid prep, uh, avoid repetition. So this is the kit. We we it comes with the eight cartridges. It has eight tubes. We've got a reservoir here with eight. Uh, eight reservoirs and as you can see I've already filled seven of these reservoirs with the various ink the vivid light magenta the vivid magenta the cyan the photo black the light black light cyan and the light light black the only one that remains for us to do is is the yellow and again we've done all the cartridges and we've just got the last one so I if I show you what we have to do to the last one that'll pretty well show you what you do to the rest now very important is that when you when you get this kit you'll find that all of these little bungs are loose so the first thing you do is put these bungs into the into the reservoirs and they are they are color coded so in the case of the yellow for instance let's put this down uh, when it's brand new you, you'll find this might be a little bit difficult to get it in so the way I get it in as I put my screwdriver that they supply and you just push it in like that you just help it in with the screwdriver once it's gone in a few times it's quite easy and the other thing very very important is the little bungs that go on the top of the the little bungs that go on the top of the cartridge here they are they are supplied loose in the little in the little plastic so in this bag you'll have eight of these little bungs let's bring this up a little bit closer and what you will do before you start to put your ink in on all of these bungs here on all of these cartridges you'll actually put the bung into the cartridge to make sure you don't have ink coming down before you're ready so you insert those bungs first of all now let's go through to actually uh, 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 show you what what we're doing you've got all of your inks here now in actual fact I've already installed most of my ink so I'm just going to show you one but all you have to do is put the inks in the rest of them be very careful to put the right ink in the right reservoir if ever you make a mistake don't panic but don't proceed any further just let us know that you've made a mistake and then you're fine.